Hello students, welcome back. In this episode, I will teach you the topic of types of a matrices. This is most important topic in the exams. There are a lot of types of matrices like row matrix, column matrix, rectangular matrix, etc. I will elaborate with the proper steps and examples so you will understand this type of questions very easily so before we go i request you if you haven't subscribed my channel so please subscribe it and click on their bell icon you will see my latest informative and educative videos on my channel so let's go our topic is types of matrices so the first type is row matrix we can say that row matrix firstly the definition of row matrix is the matrix who has only one row is called row matrix I can give you a hint here for the definition purpose the matrix is called row matrix who has only one row that's called row matrix Let me give you an example to understand it easily. For example, A is equal to 1, 2 and 3. So you can see that here in the A matrix there is only one row and three columns. The order is 1 cross 3. So we can say that this is only a row matrix because in which only one row. So we can say that according to this condition we can say that A is row matrix. Let me give you another example. So I will ask you about that. For example, B is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. You have 2 seconds to observe that it is raw matrix or not. You can pause the video and write your answer in the comment section. So I will check it after the video. Let me solve it. Here you can see that first row, second row, first column and second column. So the order is 2 cross 2 or 2 by 2. But according to this condition, According to this condition, there is only one row, we can call the row matrix. According to this condition, we can say that this is not a row matrix. Because here you can see there are two rows and two columns. This is not a row matrix. So if your answer is correct, so I think you understand it easily. So now move to word and other types of matrix is called column matrix so we can mention the second type is called column matrix column matrix so what is column matrix so how we can define that the matrix who has only one column is called column matrix so we can write that in which only one column
so we can say that it is a column matrix so let me give you an example to illustrate you for example a is equal to 1 2 and 3 so you can see that here we have the order of a matrix is first row second row and third row and we have just one column order is 3 cross 1 and according to the column matrix condition we have only one column so we can say that this is a column matrix so I hope this is a easy and effective example for you to understand it properly now move toward another type of matrix is called rectangular matrix so here we can mention the rectangular matrix third type So how we can define the rectangular matrix? We can say that the matrix whose rows and column are not equal to each other is called rectangular matrix. For example, let me give you a hint about that. For example, M is equal to number of rows and N is equal to number of columns. So we can understand that if M is not equal to N, I mean number of rows M is not equal to number of columns. So we can say that this is a rectangular matrix according to this condition. Let me give you an example so you will understand it properly. For example, F is equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So here you can see we can firstly find the order of the matrix. So how we can find the order of the matrix? We can just check the rows and columns. First row, second row, first column, second column and third column. And the order is 2 cross 3. Here you can see that we have two rows and three columns and according to the rectangular matrix condition number of rows is not equal to number of columns so we can say that F is rectangular matrix. Let me give you another example to illustrate it for you. Here we can write that G is equal to 1, 2, 3 and 4. So you have two seconds to observe that it is rectangular matrix or not. You can pause the video and write your comments on the comment section. So I will check it. So let me solve it for you. Firstly check the order of this matrix. First row, second row, first column and second column. Here you can see the order is 2 cross 2, I mean rows and columns. But according to the rectangular matrix condition, this, this condition is not hold because here is column is equal to rows. But our rectangular matrix condition we should have M is not equal to N so G matrix is not hold on this condition so we can say that G is not a rectangular matrix I hope you understand this type of examples based on this condition now move toward another types of matrix Square matrix. So, how we can define this type of matrix? So, in this, the matrix whose columns and rows are equal to each other, 
so we can say that it is called square matrix for example let me assume that m is equal to number of rows and n is equal to number of columns so we can write that according to the square matrix if m is equal to n so we can say that if this condition is hold so that's called square matrix let me give you an example to elaborate it for example if i say m is equal to 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 and 9 so we have a 3 by 3 matrix so we can first check the order how you can find that it is so easy first you check the rows first row second or third row first column second column or third column so we can say that order is equal to 3 cross 3 and we can check the condition of square matrix that we have already write that m is equal to n number of rows is equal to number of column so 3 or by 3 matrix so we can say that m is square matrix so i think you understand this it's a so simple let me give you another example you will understand it properly example second example f is equal to 1 2 3 4 7 8 you have three seconds to check that so it is square matrix or not you can check that and write your answers on a comment section you can pause the video and write your comments let me solve it for you first row and second row first column second column and third column so we can say that order is equal to 2 cross 3 so according to the this condition we have m is not equal to n so we can say that this condition is not hold we can say that it is f is not a square matrix I hope you understand this video with the proper examples and steps. If you have any queries about this type of matrix, so you can mention on the comment section. I will reply you. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and like my channel. Thank you very much.